I love that song so much. So yeah, glad you're enjoying it. Hey there, Mochi! Good to see you! And um, so as I said at the very start of this, this is indeed a very special episode of Lunch Crafting. And why? Why, Wendell? Why, you may ask? Is this a very special episode? Because this is the last Lunch Crafting of 2021. Yes, that's right! Oh, just Sandy now! Hey there, good to see you! Yeah, we are in, we are doing our very last lunch crafting for the year. So, I thought we should do something a little special. So, let me just get over to the game, and we will, we will get started here. Oh, and the music's already going. That's so nice. Anyway, so what I thought we'd do... You know, I said, we oh, we could go back to working on our house, because the, uh... The big dig for, uh, you know, trying to get the lava into the lake didn't work out. The lava didn't want to move. And I think we can still have fun with that lava, but it's going to take more time. So, what I thought is today, I am going to grab a couple of supplies, grab some food, grab a sword, and we're just going to walk. We're going to pick a direction, and we're just going to go and see how far we can get. It's gonna be like uh, like that Moana song. How far I'll go? Mochi says you're making this lava thing more complicated than it needs to be. Yeah, probably, because I don't know what I'm doing. You know, I want all I want is a lake filled with lava. I want to look out my window here and see lava just everywhere, so that the monsters cannot get near my house. The only song from Moana is You're Welcome. Well, yes, you might be saying You're Welcome after after this stream. Maybe it'll be something interesting, or maybe it'll be very boring as I just wander off into the wilderness. But you, don't, you never know. But that's what we're going to find out on this, the last stream of 2021. 2021. Our dad says we have everything we need right here. We don't need adventure. Well, you know what? I don't see my dad around, so we're just going to go for it for 50 cents a day. You're welcome. All right. Wow. Wow, music. That was intense. Oh, also, I have remapped my buttons a little bit on my controller to try to make things a little easier for me. So I'm going to have to get used to that. So probably some things will be going wrong until I'm used to that. So first thing, we got a ton of dirt. Let's get rid of this. We just turned about a bunch, bunch of rocks and dirt from the big dig. I'm just going to put that in my pockets because you know what? If I die out there and and the dirt is what we leave behind, I'm okay with that. The Rock tried to tell his four-year-old that he sang the song and started singing it to her and she shushed him and said he was ruining it. Oh my gosh. Oh, Rock. She says, you're not as good as Maui, Rock. Maui does it better. That's funny. <laughs> I'll bring a torch. Gotta have a torch. I'm gonna get my sword. Put the spare shovel down. Just moving things around. Eh, uh, sure. We'll keep some sand, because, you know, we, we still need to make the glass. And the cobblestone's useful. Okay. 
Okay, let's get our food. Oh, we had a campfire. What happened to that? Did we put it somewhere else? I forgot. I don't see it here. I know we moved it from that corner because I kept stepping in it. Stepping in the campfire. Pardon me, Pringles. Pringles loves this poster so much. This is all he'll do. We lost the campfire. That sounds right. I probably had it in my pocket. And then... Bleh. <laughs> that, that sounds like something I'd do. So I'm going to go ahead and eat this pork chop. That was good. And of course, I may not rest. I'm not going to start the journey in the middle of the night. Let's feed Pringles. Pringles would probably like a potato about now. Here he comes. If there's one thing that can get Pringles away from that door and his favorite picture of, of fighting ninjas is potatoes. He always comes a running. There you go. Oh, look how happy he is. There is never a bad time for potatoes. That's right, Scarlet Unicorn. That's right. He's so happy. Just listen to the little oinks. Let's put the potatoes back. You having fun up there, Pringles? We're going on a walk. We're going on a walkabout. Ah. Okay. So what's the zombie situation this morning? I hear him. So we're just going to get up here. Now. Now we have one decision to make. Tell me, oh viewers of Lunch Crafting, which direction? Should we go off in? Now there's the sun. So it's horizon. So that must be east. And that's west. And north. North is towards our desert. Scarlet Unicorn says west. Voting for west. We'll have the sun at our backs. Weast. Weast. So that's right in the middle between west and east, which means we stand right here on the ground and go nowhere. Weast it is. We'll just dig straight down into the earth. That would, that would might be a problem. I'm just going to end up in a hole. So to make a more interesting adventure, we're going to choose west. I say weast. Weast is next time. Going on a little adventure. We don't know what's gonna stand in our way.
We're just going west. Ow. I'm in the tree. There we go. Get my sword out. Snorth? Snorth is about the same as, as Weast. There's not a lot, not a big difference. Maybe you, you, maybe you build up. That would be fun. I had that idea. I think, uh, I think Scarlet Unicorn mentioned this at one point. Uh, building a big tower so that we can see where the house is from a long distance. I will call it the Windle Spire, and it will rise up to the clouds. Maybe that's Snorth. Windle Sky Castle. Ooh, that sounds fun. Maybe there could be lava. Whoa. Ooh, there's a mountain over here. And a nice lake. Let's see if I can get down without busting my leg. Hello, cows. I did that because I think we need leather. I'm very sorry, cows. Resources are needed. And at least we're getting some food. Ooh, lava waterfall. Big tower, lots of torches. Yeah. Well, doesn't that just sound like a great project for the new year? We come back next week, it's 2022, and we build a tower to the sky. Oh, I know. I'll put the roof on the house. Whoa. What was that? Oh my gosh! This is not a small lake. There's like a whole thing down there. Ooh, that's disconcerting. But we're gonna keep going. Now we're just in a swamp. But anyway, we can put the roof on the house. And then on top of the roof, that's where we build the Windle Spire that reaches to the heavens. And then on the top, we put a torch. Or maybe the campfire. Maybe that would be good. Make ourselves a new campfire, stick it right on top of the spire. The campfire spire. I like that. Gondor calls for aid. Yes! We will be able to signal. We, we've, we've met the villagers over in the other town. That's how we'll signal to them. Please send your robot, your helpful robot to me, when I light the signal fire. I gotta get one of those robots. Maybe, maybe if I have the robot, I won't need the lava. Oh. This puddle is deeper than I expected. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that. It just goes on. Can I can can I construct a scuba suit? 
Something that will help me go under the water? Maybe a, a submarine? We'll build the Windle Navy. In the Navy. Yes, you can build a submarine in the Navy. Whoa. Speaking of Gondor, I think that's them right over there. Wow. Oh. Oh, this is deep. Just what is below the surface? You never know. Wow. Atlantis is down. It is. <gasps> oh, we're coming out of the swamp. It's like clear water over there. Nice and blue. Whoa. That looks scary. But we're going forward. Oh my gosh. There's swimming zombies down here. They formed a society. A sea society. Be careful, yeah. We're still going west. There's the sun. Though maybe I should get to somewhere safer than the middle of a lake or an ocean. This might not be a lake. This is a lot. I think I should try to head for land. Adventuring! It's adventuring time! I've discovered 17 biomes! I knew it. I knew this was adventure. That confirms it. Turn in your quest. Okay. Okay, we've made it to land. That is something. The world is huge. We've only seen such a small part living on Wendell Island. Can I dig out a little shelter? Oh, Scarlet Unicorn says, found a picture of my torch tower. It's more magnificent than I remembered. Gonna drop it in the Discord. Oh, I'd love to see it. It'll be good inspiration for the Campfire Spire. Here's something coming. Uh-oh. It's no problem. We just beat a zombie to death with a block of sand. Sure. Okay. Always been a fan of torches. Your sword. Yes, I had the sword, but it's really hard for me to, like, switch things up, you know, when I'm doing something. As in, as I'm in the middle of smacking this guy, and it's complicated for me to get to the sword. So, I had to use what I had on hand. Literally. Which was the block of sand. And it, uh, it worked out. 
worked out okay. So let's put this here. Boom. It's our cozy little nook. It's so nice with a torch. Of course, we've started a fire in this very enclosed space. And fire takes oxygen. Is there, I hope there's not oxygen that we have to worry about. It worked out, I'm not dead. Yes, that's the way I judge things. If I, if I didn't die, then it worked out. It's a very simple, simple rule of life. Let me see here. Make a little adjustments. There we go. All right. So eventually we have to leave this little nook. I guess I could make it a little roomier. Oxygen is only an issue underwater. That's good. We don't entirely follow the rules of physics here. And it's a good thing. Give myself a little room. That's not bad. So I got sand and sandstone. There we go. A squeak? What's the squeak? I don't know what that was. But the music's here. This is our simple home. For 50 cents a day, you too can live buried in sand with a single torch. Remember, it's not hard. Anyone can bury themselves in sand and light a fire. But it's very dangerous in real life, don't do it. Only here in Minecraft should you be doing that. For 50 cents a day, squeaks. Yeah, what was the squeak? It sounded adorable. But, I mean, knowing this game, it's probably something that wants to eat me. Ah, we can see the stars as we wait for morning. I could dig a little more. Though I suppose I do run the risk of things collapsing on my head. This is nice music. It's our adventuring music. I feel like if I go poking around, Something bad is bound to happen. Oh, I hear something. Some kind of sound. There's a creepy crawly sound. There it is. It's nearby. Oh, that was... 
Like an ominous machinery sound. I don't know if that was the music? Dig up. Only morning sunshine if you dig up. Yeah. We'll dig up. There should only be friendly things up there. Hitting my head. Any friendos? It's awfully quiet. getting darker. Torch, we need you. Oh, I think the morning might be coming. Oh, something. Something's burbling. But it's definitely, it's definitely night is over. Success! We survived one night out in the wilderness. That's a new record. Morning is burbling. Burble, burble, burble. Oh gosh. Maybe they're just gargling. Just a little morning. You know, they got some uh, Listerine... Little morning gargle. Oh, that sounds close. That sounds terrible. Oh, he's on fire. Oh, that's not bad. He tried to get me, but he was on fire. Maybe there's a coffee percolator out there. Kinda. It's percolating them. Alright, it's time to move on. Thank you, son. The sun is so helpful. So have we just found the ocean? It just goes on. I need to craft a boat. Maybe I should have brought a crafting table. Well, we're in the desert again. What the? We found another village! They're little tree houses. Oh, look at... Oh, no. Look at the waterfall into this nightmare. Oh, gosh. Who'd want to go in that? I want to look at it. Wow. Wow. That looks like a good place to find my body. 
dinosaurs meet their doom there. I think everything meets their doom down there. That is a scary hole. <gasps> Look at all the alpaca! It's alpaca town! Hello! Oh, oh, hello. Are you the mayor? Yeah. Yes, it's good. I think, can may I visit your town? I am a weary traveler. Is that a yes? I think that is yes. Oh, do you all live here? Oh, little kitty. Look at the kitties. Meow. Oh, I hope they won't mind if I take some carrots. Trying to be careful not to, uh, not to hit the guys. What's he doing? You're replanting. Oh, okay. Sure. He's a hard worker. There we go. Food refilled. Should probably take a few more for the road. Oh. I think they're like, who is this guy, this Wendell guy, who has shown up and taken our carrots? Let's quickly harvest so that he stops taking our carrots. They're giving me a look. They're not happy. Sorry. I was hungry. Oh, hello, not Pringles. I don't know you. I don't just talk to any strange pig. Off-brand Pringles. Yeah, this is the, uh, this, this is the off-market. This is the store brand. Store brand cylinder chips. That's what that pig's called. No. No, I'm not your friend, store brand cylinder chips. their torch. I hope Scarlet Unicorn will approve. A bucket! I'm gonna take their bucket. He's just watching me. Cylindrical chip pig. Sorry, work. Torches. Yes. I'm, uh... I'm relieving the people of their torches. Because I want more of them. Uh-oh, that might be the homeowner. Joint the crafting table, that's not a bad idea. What was in the other house? I just heard a sigh. Huh. I think he probably watched me do that. Oh, 
Ooh, what's this? Upgrade gear. Well, I don't have any. But I think I want this. All right, I think we've taken a fair amount of stuff from these people. You know, I wonder if it would be wiser. I mean, I, I know it would be. Uh, instead of living on my own, uh, to build a house within one of these villages. Because they have things like this. Nice, friendly robot man. Who can help me out with the monsters at night? Maybe Pringles and I need to move. Start a new life. Like, look at this guy. He's got his house all the way over here on the outskirts. We could just take this house. Nobody lives there. Pretty sure. That's a thought for another day. I mean, we have put a lot of work into Windle Island. I'd hate to abandon it. But for long-term survivability, I'm thinking, yeah, maybe a town. Maybe that's the way to go. Been all about that, that rural lifestyle. But moving to the city, I might live longer. There are no escape tunnels here, but there could be. There could be all new escape tunnels. And of course, I'm, I'm jumping across the, the water here. And the sun's going down. Sun's getting awfully low in the sky. Probably should have hung out at the village until morning. But this should be more interesting. Gonna try to get to that island. And we'll set up a base there. The house isn't big enough for me and Pringles, but we can add on. You know, we could we could add to that house. Make it amazing. All right. Oh good, my shovel broke. We go. I sealed myself in just as uh, something was burbling. Wendell's mansion, that's right. That's what we need. We have Wendell's modest little home on the island. Oh my gosh, listen to the noises. You know what would help? that I had the sheep having a hard time out there They're just hanging out here in our little dirt hole.
This ain't bad. Got a cozy little dirt hole. Hey, and dirt digs out dirt pretty well. It's like a fight fire with fire situation. What? What was that? That sounded like a like a tank driving overhead. I've never heard anything like that. No clue, but you heard it too, right Mochi? That's like it was like gears grinding. Now I'm curious. Got an opening. Oh, that was a sheep. I don't know. Just a sheep. Okay, at least we can see the sky. And if anything drops in, it, it should be right in front of us. Sheep Brigade. <laughs> Terrifying Sheep Brigade running around up there. So it's our little skylight. Now we wait for the zombie to find it. I'm ready. I'm ready in case he drops in. Just looking at the stars. Ah. We have time just to look at the sky. Think about all the possibilities of a new year. Because, you know, 2021, I'd have to say it was better than 2020, but still, still a lot of troubles. So I'm thinking 2022, that is the year where we turn everything around. That's going to be the good year. Because look at the numbers, 2022. Two, two. That's a lot of twos. It's, it's just satisfying to look at. So I think it's gonna I think it's gonna be a good year. I'm looking forward to it. I guess 2021 was the year I started doing lunch crafting. So that was a good thing. I mean for me. Because I have a lot of fun doing this. Hanging out with all of you there in the chat. Doing a little crafting. Doing a little adventuring. Staring at the stars. While listening to zombies and cows wandering about above my head. It's pretty. A little flute. The game is su being surprisingly peaceful. I'm usually just, uh, running for my life, falling off things. I will never forget the legendary first stream of the, of, do you mean of the lunch crafting or of the cafe? Requested, it's the most wonderful. Oh my gosh, the song thing is still on. It's, it's requesting songs now. It's the most. Wonderful time of the year, because it's the end of the year, and Mochi has redeemed sing mode. 
Oh my gosh. All right, let me see. I don't think I can get the song list up on here. Maybe I can get it on here. You know, I'm gonna be messing with this and then something's gonna drop in through that, through that ceiling. Oh, here. There. Now I can check out the song list. Because that got put in position two. I didn't even notice something got put in at position one. I hear you, cow. Oh, the 12 days of Christmas is still at position one. But Ray did that. I just, I didn't clear it. Okay. So we got to do that one. It's the most wonderful time of the year. With those kids jingle belling and everyone telling you be of good cheer. It's the most wonderful time of the year. It's the hap happiest season of all. With the words I've forgotten, they're usually on screen, but hey, what the heck? It's the most wonderful time of the year. And we dug our way out and we're going up now. We have no fear. I'm glad the claps still work. And it's raining. Raining on sheep, cows, and deer. Oh, and the zombie. Okay, I'll leave. I'll leave your island. We're sinking. Zombies underwater. <laughs> Ray was too tuckered out to clear it. I mean, he cleared it. He got to the end. Oh, clear the list. Yeah. Yeah, he was he was definitely too tuckered out to clear the list. And apparently, I, we were all too tuckered out to turn the list off. I need to do that, though. Because, you know, Christmas songs, Christmas is over. Can't do Christmas songs. I gotta fill that list with all new songs. And I've got a lot of ideas... Uh, for different themes. The karaoke theme nights is what I'm thinking. Got a lot of ideas, you know. Basic things, you know, like the decades are easy. Like, hey, we're going to do 80s music. We're going to do 70s music. But then I've got some other ideas, too, for other themes. And if anyone out there who's watching has an idea for a theme, throw it out there in the chat. And uh, we'll see what we can do. Might be an idea we already have. Might be something new that we're going to go, whoa, hadn't thought of that. Got to do it. Disney theme? Aha. Might be one we already had in mind. Something we're, we're kicking around. Because I'm thinking that was a lot of fun and we need to do those at least monthly. At least once a month, we need a karaoke party. And there's all kinds of themes that we could do. But yeah, Disney theme is a good one. We definitely know lots of Disney songs around here. Musicals, movie songs, yep. Yep. Might be on the list. Very good suggestions. Well, this is a pleasant little town. I think the tree houses were more interesting. But they got a robot.
What kind of outfits do you have? Hmm. I mean, most of my outfits are like Halloween costumes. So there's like, it's a bunch of weird stuff like that. And of course the holidays. You know, I got my Santa outfit. Gotta have that. I don't think there's, I don't think I have anything that would uh, inspire music. Sinatra night, country night. Ooh, that's a good idea. I do have a cowboy hat. That's a good idea. Need to hear Burton sing cat songs. That'll be the theme. Cat songs. Just if it's if it involves a cat. So we're gonna do like, like the Jellicle cats. Everybody wants to be a cat. Uh does that one song? Two steps forward, I take two steps back. I mean, there's a cat singing that song. Maybe that, that would be one. Requesting Smelly Cat. I hadn't, you know, that's a good one. I hadn't thought about Cat Night, but you could probably come up with a playlist to cover Cat Night. You keep choosing duets. Yeah. I mean, they're good songs, though. But I do. I keep choosing duets. Oh man, I kind of lost my sense of direction here. I hope we're still going west. But with this rain, I can't see the sun. A bird! Never seen a bird like that. Oh, it's a parrot! It's a little green parrot! Do you want a carrot, parrot? Do you want this? Well, I mean, I can get right up on him. I don't have the option to feed him. Melons! Oh, is that what the parrot's like? Or is, oh no, he's standing on them! He's standing on melons! <gasps> oh, seeds! Birds like seeds! Birdie! Hey, birdie! Do you like seeds? What is oh little kitty? With spots? Or is that like a baby leopard? Would you like some seeds? Sit. It's sit. Oh, wait a minute. I'm a pirate. Oh my gosh. I have a birdie on my shoulder. Oh my gosh, we think we need to think of a name. What is a good name for my parrot? He is very happy. Yes, he's very happy that he has... That he has a little birdie. That's hanging out on his shoulder. I love it. I have an adventuring partner. What's a good... What's a good name? I'm going to call you... Robinson. This is our parrot, Robinson. He's not a Robin, but that's what I'm calling him. Well, now I want to change my view. Oh, where'd you going? Are you coming? Oh, 
Okay, I got him. Come on, Robinson. And if you see zombies, peck them for me. Trouble with this rain is I can't tell how close we are to night. Tweet, tweet. Oh, we're a team. Me and Robinson. Now the rain stopped. Whoa. What the? What is? Something's angry. Oh, there's the ocelot. Meh. Uh, Meh. Uh, Are they making that noise? Did not expect them to stay when I went in the water. Me neither. But Robinson loves me. But I think he's worried about the ocelot. I kind of am too. Let's see. Do ocelots like raw beef? Where'd he go? Oh man, it's... That's loud. Maybe they want to eat Robinson. They like fish. Definitely don't have fish. I tried to get them before, but they're very fast. Ooh, we got waterfall. <laughs> Zip and the menagerie. Yes, Wendell's beautiful menagerie. Definitely need to build a zoo. I would love that. We need Wendell's zoo. Uh oh, it's getting night. Okay. I don't think anything can squeeze in there now. And we still have a little opening. So let's get the dirt. Because we know dirt builds dirt. Oh, we got a hole. Place that. And for the final touch. Torches. We got a hole up there too. Let's fill that in.
And Robinson is still with us. I think I'm going to just fill in. There we go. We're all closed in for the night. And that brings us to the end of the hour. Nice and comfy. Here in our, our little underground hut. With Robinson. Our new friend. And now we have a new goal. Which is not to, to die out here in the wilderness. And just kind of respawn back at the bed. Which is kind of what I thought would happen. We'd go and go and go and then eventually... Something would take me out, and I'd end up back in the bed. But now, we got to get this little guy home. That's going to be the new goal. Let's switch off of here. Oh, well, yeah. That is going to do it for lunch crafting today. Hope everybody had a good time out there. It was really great hanging out with you all for this final stream of 2021. Well, final lunch crafting stream. I think we're gonna st we're still planning to do something for the New Year's Eve coming up, but don't know what yet. Still got to figure that out. We got to get back to Pringles. That's right. We do have to get back to Pringles. We're gonna take Robinson and let him meet Pringles, and they can both be buddies. And now our house has two animals in it, and we're just gonna keep finding more because this is fun. I like I like finding the animals, and we're gonna build ourselves a little zoo. And, you know, we're going to grow some crops. We're going to plant some potatoes. Uh, it's going to be great. It's going to be a wonderful, wonderful 2022 coming up. But that is going to do it for now. Do it for me. Hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. And the wonderful rest of your year. Uh, for, for those who might be seeing me for the final time this year. Thanks for coming, everybody. I see... Oh, man. Scarlet Unicorn's posting... Posting my, my antler ones. I gotta change those. We gotta get some new some new emotes out there. Um, especially since, you know, we had a lot of people who came on camera for the first time during the karaoke stream. So, and now they all want emotes too. Because now, now Barton's kind of, you know, lording it over everybody, being like, ha ha ha, I have an emote. You guys don't have emotes. So, yeah, we're gonna need to, we're gonna need to fix that and get some emotes for, for other people out there. Just so we can stop bragging. Yes, the Mez. The Mez book. He didn't like it at first, but now he's just like, yes, this is great. He likes having it. So yeah, that is on the to-do list for 2022. Along with you know, lots of other ideas that are cooking up. So stay tuned, because next year, we got, we got ideas. And hopefully those ideas turn into something beyond just ideas. But anyway, that's gonna do it. I'm out of here. Everyone, I'll see you next time. Take care of each other and have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.